Hey everyone, it's Wally Dellenbach. I got one more step to do, and that is I'm going to chase the threads for these adjusting screws. Um, one of the motivations for doing this project was these, of course the pedal was a little froze up, and um, the adjusting screws didn't turn that great. I really had to muscle them to get them to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tap. This is a, uh, let's see, it's a half inch 20, National Fine NF. And I'm gonna. I already put some oil down in here. I'm just gonna uh, do one of these for the video, and it's kind of tight, but it'll it'll clean it up real nice and allow these screws to um, move a lot easier. Of course, you want to grease them when you put it all back together. And I'm only gonna turn this thing down to where it starts to bind and stop. Of course one of the things that I do when I back a tap out is I take the wrench off so I don't cross thread. If you cross thread, man, you're really you're gonna really ruin it. We'll do this other one. Get the tap started. I don't want to cross thread it. Put the wrench on. Let's go ahead and clean her up. Hope you can see this okay. It's a nice sunny day, but it's awfully cold out. Okay, I'm going to run this thing down to where it stops. And this is called a starting tap. It's not a bottoming tap. Okay, so what that means is it doesn't cut a full thread um, for about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch. Okay, well, and of course there's not a lot of burrs, but uh, you know you can see on here on the tap it's cleaned it out somewhat. Well, cleaned it up all the way. Okay, so with that, uh, one of the most important things about the tapping process is to not cross thread. Okay, so be sure that you've got your tap started in there um, with full thread engagement, and then you can go ahead and put your tap wrench on. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably get some brake fluid or something, uh, or I'm, I'm sorry, brake cleaner, comes in a spray can and I'm going to clean this thing up and I'll blow it out with some compressed air and uh, grease this thing back up and put it back together from which I'm not going to make a video of. So everyone, these are the basics for uh, taking a Ludwig Speed King apart and uh, doing some maintenance on it. And uh, I didn't want to take this apart just to keep things simple, and uh, there's really no need. Uh, the paint is, is pretty good. It's not really chipped up or beat up, but I think Rust-Oleum makes kind of like a machine-style paint that will match this in a gray or a silver. Um, so until next time, everybody, I'm so grateful that you watch my videos and comment and write me, and um, I'm always at your service. Feel free to talk. and. Uh, it's Wally Dollenbach on Facebook from Delphi, Indiana. Okay, so until next time, everybody be cool and take care. Bye.